Hello students, today I'm going to discuss with you a pie chart which has come in the past in the academic IELTS writing test. In fact, there are two pie charts, one for 1980 and one for 2000. The graphs below show the time spent on various activities in a US office in 1980 and 2000. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So you can see it is the time spent on various activities. Two years are given, which are both in the past, and so you have to use the past tense. Now I've started, uh, uh, let's see how to go about the intro. The given pie charts compare the time given to different activities in an American office in 1980 and 2000. So it's uh, very clear that uh, uh, I've just used very simple synonyms for the words in the question and written this introduction. Uh, the graphs below, below there will be no graphs in your answer sheet, so you will write the given pie charts. Uh, then show, I have used the word compare here. Then uh, the time spent, I have written time given to. Uh, various activities, I have written different activities. US office, I have written American office. In fact, the same sentence has been written, but uh, uh, very simple changes of the words and uh, this is a good introduction. Then, uh, then I have started writing the overview after the introduction. Actually, overview can be written at the end also, but I have tried and tested it in the class many times now, and I've seen that it will take much less time to complete the graph if there is the overview. Because then the thinking process of giving the comparisons and trends is uh, goes away, and then only the data has to be put in the body, and that becomes much simpler and easier for them. So I have tried. I have started promoting this method now considering the uh, you know ease it has given to my students here. Overall it is clear that the maximum time was spent on phone and the least on computers in 1980. So you can say see the maximum on phone and the least on computer in 1980 whereas in 2000 the maximum time was on computer use and the least on um, email. Uh, it is interesting to note that the time spent on paper documents, meetings and phone. So paper documents here, meetings and phone almost halved in 1980, in 2000 as compared to 1980. While the time spent on other activities and face-to-face -face communication remained the same. The most striking increase was in computer use. So this is giving all the trends and the comparisons. Now all the trends and the comparisons are over. So only the data has to be put in the body paragraphs. It becomes much easier and simpler to plan the whole graph. And just note that in the overview, I haven't uh, written any data. It is only the years which I have written. And I've written words of comparisons like remain the same, the maximum, the least, uh, almost half, these are trends. So all this has been completed in the overview. Now coming to the body paragraphs. In 1980, almost half of the total office time was given to phone calls and paper documents, which was 30 and 20 percent respectively. So total, you know, phone and paper documents, 30 and 20. So it's almost half of the total time of office. It was given to these two activities. But in 2000, these two activities took away just a quarter of the time. That is 14% and 10% respectively. Similarly, the time spent on meetings decreased considerably from 19 to 9%. Face-to-face -face communication and other activities took around 15% time each. However, the time spent on computers escalated dramatically from 2% to 30% in the two decades. Email option was not there in 1980, but it took away 8% time in 2000. So you can see I've written very, very simple English, but uh, all the data has been provided and the total graph has, uh, is also not too lengthy. And uh, you'll know how to now condense it also. This, has, uh, this is almost 190 words, which is pretty good. You'll be able to write it in within 15, 16 minutes and uh, you'll not have to borrow the time from the essay. Um, so this is uh, my explanation of this graph. It has been seen in the past, recently in China. Maybe it's repeated in India in the near future. Thank you very much for watching patiently.